Wagga wagga woo! How are you? <laughs> happy, happy Saturday. Happiest of Saturdays of them all. <laughs> yes, yes, really, but not really. It snowed. It snowed today for me. So that was really exciting. Uh, it, it's been a really long time since I've experienced snow. So it was, it was an experience. Uh, I made, I made a snowman. <laughs> I made a snowman today. Yes, I want to build a snowman. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it was a really uh, productive day today. I had to go into work, right? I had to go into work. So many people called out. So many people called out because, uh, what? Mm. I think we got like 10 plus inches of snow, right? 10 plus inches. <laughs> we had 10 plus inches of snow today. And um, the person who has the truck, the only person who owns a truck at work, uh, called out. <laughs> um, but everyone else uh, mostly make it made it. Um, and uh, of course, as to be expected, with so much snow and uh, the road conditions not being uh, ideal, it wasn't that busy. So a couple of my coworkers and I just went outside and just made snowmen. <laughs> Yo, but dude, so like, um, there's like an apartment that's like across the street from our work. And we were like rolling snow uh, next to this apartment. And um, I kept tripping out because I kept, uh, there was like, every so often there would be like, a thunk, right? Thunk. And um, I would look to the side of me and I would see like some snow um, like sunken in. And at first I thought it was my coworkers throwing snowballs at me. And I kept looking back at them and I'm like, what the frick? And I just, it missed me, so I just would keep rolling my little snowball, my, my, my snowman doll. And I would get, hook, right? And I'm just like, what the frick? Like, I would look back at my coworkers, and they showed no sign of having thrown a snowball at me. And so then I looked up, right? And I'm, like, looking up at the tree, and I see this bird, and I'm like, is, is the bird shaking the tree, making the snowball? Like, is this just one of the hazards of making a snowman? <laughs> Um, so then I kept going. I'm like, I sure hope this bird does not poop on me. Like this bird in this tree. I sure. Yeah. The bird is fighting back. Um, but I guess, and the thing was at one point we started picking up the snowman pieces and taking them across the parking lot, uh, because we were, we were basically across our parking lot, uh, next to this apartment building rolling our snow and so we were taking it across the parking lot lifting it uh, because we didn't want to roll it in parking lot snow and um that's that's when my coworker had had mentioned like yo there's someone in that apartment window that's chucking snow down at us like that's what was going on the entire time these pricks were just trying to chuck snow down at us and had horrible terrible aim because I think they missed absolutely every single one of them because even when we were walking across the parking lot uh, I guess they decided to chuck one instead of dropping it they tried to chuck one uh, and it missed but it's just like really guys and they're in, they're, they were in their apartment. So it's like wherever the entrance to this apartment was, they were basically leaving their apartment, going out to the front, wherever their front is, grabbing a bunch of snow, rolling them in the balls, bringing it upstairs because they were like on the top floor, bringing it upstairs into their apartment to the specific window just so that they could drop it down on us. Like, really, guys? <laughs> You think you would have something better to do? Go actually play in the snow. <laughs> go actually play in the snow. I mean, they 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 would have had to go out in the snow to begin with anyway. Just go play out there. No, they want to check snow all across their apartment, across the room, <laughs> to this open window. Yeah. And then I went home and uh, got some duck. 
I loved it. It's been so long since I had duck. It's so good. When was the last time I had duck? I'm gonna go out on a limb. Yeah, duck is so good. <laughs> duck is so good. But they got so much like, <laughs> they got so much like bone and tendon and stuff. Like it's always so, it's such a fight, right? Cause I got a whole duck. I got a whole duck and they just do that thing where they just take the whole, bu whole duck and just <laughs> with a butcher knife <laughs> and chop it up profusely. Um, so of course it still has all of the bones and, and whatnot. Uh, and it's just it's just such a struggle ha having to separate the edible and the non-edible. I can't eat duck. It is so odd to me. Really? What about chicken? I mean, that's the strangest thing, right? Duck is ba basically chicken, but for some reason it's not that much of a struggle with chicken. <laughs> Why is it such a struggle with duck? <laughs> I think, I think with chicken, right, there's less, I think there's like, would you say there's less fat? Because ducks, ducks are very buoyant, right? And that's, that's, all, that's why ducks are like so succulent and like, like um, duck oil, right? So that's probably why it's, it's more difficult. <laughs> it's probably why it's more difficult to eat duck, but it was so tasty. <laughs> Damn, Becco eating whole duck to herself. Hey, if I'm going to be snowed in for the next three days, I might as well buy a whole duck to feed me for the next three days. I have provisions. Duck for the next three days. <laughs> Chicken is fine. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think I think it, it might be like the oil thing, right? Because ducks are buoyant. Buoyancy ducks. <laughs> but not. My body won't let me swallow duck, though. Huh. Specifically. <coughs> Do you like the flavor of duck though? Like like have you have you licked a duck? <laughs> you just don't like you don't like duck, like the consistency. Hmm. Ducks are great. I don't eat them too often though. Nothing beats a good cow. Oh, nothing beats a good cow. I've also been missing steak ever since this whole pandemic. I have not, I have not had steak, guys. I've been missing steak. Someone was telling me about going to like Black Angus. Oh, I want to go out to a restaurant and have some steak. I want to have some steak. Oh, and, and, and I want to have some Wagyu steak, yo. Some Wagyu. Mm. I, I was watching a lot of videos. You can buy... Uh, Wagyu at Costco, and 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 a lot of a lot of these uh, YouTube videos were basically like, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Sort of thing, right? It's still like a hundred bucks at Costco, but mm, you get like two two steak fillets or something like that. Oh, they make it look so good. Yes, yes, I do watch Wagyu steak videos every so often. Tis tis the dream. Thirteen viewers, Pog. Whoa. Why? Hello. Welcome. So many people here. Whoa, hello. The Dark Skulls. Oh my god, you subbed. Oh my god. I haven't set up I haven't set up anything for subbing, my dear. Oh no. <laughs> Whatever will I do? Thank you, thank you, thank you though. Much appreciated. I don't strongly I don't I don't encourage I don't encourage subs because I, I just I want you guys to be here. I don't want you guys to feel like uh uh what how do you say uh that you have to, you ha that you have to sub just because I, I got to be honest, I'm actually trying to, I got to be honest with you guys. I am, I've actually been trying to figure out a way to get rid of my affiliate status on Twitch. <laughs> so I, I would hate for you guys to sub only for me to try to get rid of it. And, and I got to be, <clears throat> I got to be clear. I'm trying to get rid of it just because I'm, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys like enjoy watching the ads on, on, on my stream. I don't, I, I have no control over it. I, I realize that, right? I realize that it's now showing you ads and that means you guys have to suffer through that. So I kind of feel bad. I, I, so bad. I don't remember. It's been like eight years. Steak, careful cow, cow, God. Oh God, the cow God. You guys are talking about the cow God. 
<laughs> the cow god will come for me. Maybe the cow god is the best Wagyu steak there is out there, right? Uh, only if you eat three of them. Oh, yeah. I Just don't kill three cows. Wagyu. Uh, what a callback. <laughs> you guys are never going to let me live that down. The cow god will always be forever. No emotes yet. More no no more affiliate. Don't s oh you don't see any ads. Yeah, <laughs> you don't see any ads. It always show ads though. Does it show ads even when I wasn't affiliate? I thought it was um no ads if I wasn't affiliate, and then the moment I become affiliate, then it starts like splurt alerting all these ads on me. Is that is that not how it works? Even if you aren't affiliate, really? Ad block. Cow God will block. Any and everything. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know ad block is the thing. You get revenue from ads when you are affiliate, though. Okay, okay. You can get ads even if you aren't affiliate, like if you have a certain amount of viewers. Oh. <laughs> So Twitch is like, mmm, this is a scrumptious channel. Let's some let's drop some ads on them. <laughs> and and because they're not affiliate, they get nothing. <laughs> oh well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys have to suffer through that. Mm -mm -mm. I, d I do feel like though I, I eventually though, I eventually I would have to get rid of it. Eventually, right? Because doesn't doesn't the clause say something along like, uh, mm, Twitch owns your soul. They own your brand. They can do whatever they want with you. I don't know if I feel comfortable with Twitch owning me like that. Granted, papers have already been signed. Just take me now. <laughs> Ad block doesn't work against Twitch. Twitch has circumvented a way for their ads to be blocked. Oh. Blueberry seems to be doing fine though. <laughs> hey, everyone, everyone, get whatever blue, what ad blocker Blueberry's got. <laughs> apparently, apparently, he knows the secret. <laughs> It'll be fine for the most part if you aren't the top one percent of Twitch users. That another, <laughs> that another happened. <laughs> not unless, not unless I become like a, a elite, elite gamer in a uh, Fortnite. Was it? What are the top ones? Fortnite, League of Legends, uh, uh, what's the other one? <laughs> I, I don't know what the top games are other than Fortnite and maybe League of Legends, if that even still is a thing. What's the other one? Hmm, who knows? <laughs> who knows? So, uh, on my schedule, I have, so this is a, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I ever changed what this channel was called. It still says Little Nightmares. I still have it set up for Little, uh, little Nightmares. This is tea time. Yes, this is tea time. <laughs> my bad, I'm sorry. Little Nightmares time, I know. <laughs> Rio would get quite quite cross if I didn't play Edna and Harvey. I'm gonna change the schedule up next week. So the next week it's gonna be um, Edna and Harvey on Wednesdays. That way I can still have uh, afternoon tea time to be whatever I want. Scary tea time? Oh no! Don't spill the tea, guys. It's hot. Scary tea time now. <laughs> you guys want? I mean, it is it is the afternoon tea time. <laughs> is Rio even here? If Rio's not here, I won't play Edna and Harvey. <laughs> Back to Baldi. Oh, no. I might, after doing it once, I might be able to do it better now. I, I question mark. I don't think I would ever, ever complete the game. Okay, after last, after playing Baldi, after playing Baldi, um, God, Outlast. Is, is, do you guys find this enjoyable? Do you guys find uh, ear piercing ear piercing screams enjoyable? <laughs> Get, make sure you clean your ears out. Like, ah! <laughs> oh goodness! 
Is Outlast considered the scariest game? Do you guys consider Outlast the scariest game? That's like the go-to. <laughs> Do you find this enjoyable? Immensely. <laughs> uh, what is that? Are you, get <laughs> you guys are a bunch of sadists. <laughs> I guess, does that make me the masochist? <laughs> Alien Isolation? You will have... <laughs> Hey, wait, I heard a lot of things about Alien Isolation. <laughs> I, I've never, I've never watched it, but I did hear the alien listens for you. <laughs> That's going to be very bad, especially if I'm streaming, right? Because I have to be talking to you guys. Otherwise, it's going to be a whole stream of me just covering my mouth with my hands and you'll just be like... <sighs> <laughs> The alien listens for you. Yes. I played Alien Isolation. You can turn off the sound feature. But then I wouldn't be getting the full experience. <laughs> I wouldn't be getting the full experience then. I, I, RC. The alien will always find you if you stay in one spot for too long. Mmm. Mmm, yes. The infamous, it smells you. It smells and sniffs you out. Uh, find a mod to turn the alien into a cow. Oh! Does it have mods? <laughs> Can I turn the alien into anything else? <laughs> nobody uses the sound feature. Do, do they not? Why not? Why does nobody use the sound feature? Cow mod. I don't know if the game has mods. No, no mods. We were just memeing. Ah. It would be so cool. Dude, I, I, I gotta tell you what. Uh, uh, was it? Left 4 Dead? That's the zombie one, right? In order for me to play and feel comfortable, I, I have to. I have the uh, mod installed that all the zombies are replaced with Minecraft zombies. <laughs> A little bit easier on the eyes for me. <laughs> That's what I have to do, yo. They all big baby. <laughs> so wait, Cozy, did you say Rio will be joining? I saw Rio was streaming. I would, I would hate to be like cross streaming. Uh, while Rio is streaming, I thought Rio was streaming. I don't know what Rio is streaming, but I saw that Rio was streaming. I forgot what it was. I saw what it was. Oh. Playing Dead by Daylight and showing... Ah! Ah! I, I see, I see! Dead by Daylight. Do I have Dead by Daylight? Wait, let me really quickly change my stream uh, info. I feel like I'm like, uh, what do you call it? I'm catfishing people. <laughs> I feel bad because it still says Little Nightmares. I'm catfishing people. There we go. That's what you stream? Ah! I have to double check if I have Dead by Daylight. I think I might. I might do. <laughs> we can do a collab maybe. <clears throat> I don't know. I won't last long. <laughs> a lot of screaming ensues. I want to say, is that the one where they put you up on meat hooks? Dead by Daylight? That's the one that they put you on meat hooks, right? Yes. Ah, ah, ah. I don't think I ever got a chance to play that. I got the game, but I don't recall ever playing it. I like to run the killer in circles and click flashlights at them. Wow, you must be really good then if you're running circles around them. Hi, hi, Rhea. I was just waiting on you. 
Rio. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Cozy was just telling me about how GoPro she is at Dead by Daylight, running circles around the monster. Rank one survivor when you try. Wow. Yeah, we were spanking today. Mmm. Yeah, because that's what, what them ghoulies need. Good spanking on the douche. <laughs> no, let's not let my mind wander that way. <laughs> anyway, uh, let us switch over. And boop. Hello. <laughs> Boop. I go run the killer around and then uh, when I get hit, I run to Rio <laughs> and Rio heals me. Then I go run the killer. <laughs> where does Rio go? Like where Rio just is always safe from killer <laughs> stays very safe stealth operative don't doesn't the generators make a lot of noise though like you you i feel like that would make you prime prime suspect prime sus to come after you very sneaky ah The sneakiest of them all. Sorry, if it looks like I'm unprepared, it's probably because I am. I got on uh, to prepare and realized, oh no, I have forgotten to plug in uh, everything. Uh, I forgot to charge my tablet. What is my percentage at? It is a staggering 18%. I am running on 8 eight I am. <laughs> I am running on 18%. I can do it. <laughs> 17 percent. Ah! <laughs> they only make noise if you mess up fixing them. You can do it. Ah, I see. <coughs> okay. So we did a lot. Oh. Okay. For a second there, I thought the game didn't save. I was actually quite, quite worried. Oh, hello. My, my mic peaked there a little bit. Why did you peak like that? Oh, and the audio is so loud. Because little nightmares... Uh, I can live with this. Uh, let's go get that key. You like the audio? Oh, well, for me, for me, it's kind of loud. Okay, I think that should be better. Can I drive the car now? What does it mean, wall? Why do I want to go to the wall? I want to drive the car. No, drive the car. Get in the car. Use the car. Um. Lily wasn't quite sure how to drive a car, but she'd find out one of these days. You could find out today. Let's go to the wall then, I guess. Oh, hello. Lily, oh, thank goodness. I thought they caught you. Unfortunately, Edna wasn't as lucky. I oh, saw no. how she was snatched and taken back to the institution. This gives us all the evidence we need. I will contact the task force leaders right away. It's best if you stay <laughs> put until I come back with reinforcements. However, it could take some time. And I can't guarantee that Edna will still be alive when we finally get the green light. If we're lucky, Dr. Marcel will torture her for a while before finally dissecting her or whatever else it is he intends to do with her. These that kids. Give us some time. She'll probably have to part with a few to 
toes or fingers. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. In any case, you wait here. I'll come and pick you up from exactly this spot tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, at the latest. Although the day after tomorrow is a holiday. But oh well, you'll see. Just wait here. <laughs> These guys and their imagination. would have really liked to follow Garrett's instructions. But, well, there were excellent reasons for doing what she did instead. Driving the car, maybe? <clears throat> There's an excellent reason for that. We're going in, guys. So the I've actually. Institutions post Victorian masonry work had a friendly air about it. It was almost as if the architect had tried to spell out welcome with bricks and barbed wire. This unspoken invitation found its culmination in a nearly overgrown back door, and Lily intended to graciously accept it. Does this work here? Exhausting the limits of her powers of deduction, Lily tried opening the back door with the key. But just as she approached the obstacle, she heard a familiar cackling. What the heck? What a little scoundrel. The sneaky hamster had once again crossed Lily's plans. But despite this, Lily had no intentions of exacting a bloody revenge. What the heck? Why? <laughs> Why you do this? I'm assuming I get the owl to do it, right? Yes. <laughs> Lily was glad. It was so rare that her friends got along so well with each other. Of course, this was also because she hardly had any friends. Much more important, however, was that the asylum key was no longer out of reach. It had fallen into one of the dark bushes. Go get it. The key had fallen into the bush. It was very dark in there, but Lily wasn't afraid. Um. After all, it was just a bush. Oh, I love it. Oh. Yeah. Why did the child have to be so careless all the time? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so I've actually never gone this far. Um, this will be all new to me. <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen. This kind of... This kind of a spooky game? Uh, I don't think so. I guess we don't need that. Ooh, I want the boat. Can she- Oh, okay. Why did I have to go into the boat for this? Bro, oh, Lily! <laughs> what? Mecca doesn't think it's spooky? It depends. It depends. Cause um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, mm, I guess the fact that I already know that they censor their death with the pink goo, like the there isn't going to be anything too graphic. This game has its own censorship. What was the point of that? I'm pretty sure I could just walk it. Why did I do that? Oh. Okay. Death, nobody dies. It's just pink goo. You're right. They just go on vacation. We don't know what happens to them. <laughs> so the oh god. Well, who do we have here? A little girl. Hello. Just stay where you are, okay? Hey, okay. stop! I'm just gonna go this way. Hello, Phantom. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Just stay where you are, okay? 
Goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Hey, come back. <laughs> Where is he? Give up. You can't get away. Especially not against the current. Can I keep going this way? Just stay where you are, okay? Huh, what is the puzzle here? I'll go this way. Hey, come back! Go faster, Lily. Faster than him. Go, go here. I took too long. Close the door, Lily. Triumphantly, Lily. <laughs> She had finally found a way to get in the situation. What was that? <laughs> what was the point of that? Not so fast. Oh god. Don't walk up my skirt. Nope. Nope. Kick him. Kick him. X. X. What the heck? What? Oh, the Edge. Dragging the phantom <laughs> into the pit. <laughs> what was the point of that X? Fortified by the energy smarty, Lily was able to pull herself up on the ledge. Now her <laughs> search for Edna hey, could continue. Is that a panty shot right there? <laughs> Guys, there was a panty shot in this game. Oh no. Something was missing here. A card. We're, we're gonna, um, among us this punch card. Can I, can I punch card? Oh, oh, punch card. Go get it, Lily. Punch card. It was hopeless. Punch card. <clears throat> All of them. It was hopeless. What the frick? Punch card. It was hopeless. Punch card? Why do you have so many punch cards? <laughs> You want me to go up a chimney? <laughs> oh no. Cuz uh we we all know someone that went in a chim Hello, Mr. Frog. Um hey. That's my fireplace. You shouldn't be here unless you want to bring presents or sweep the chimney. Not that the soot is bothering me. That was the old Mr. Frock. The new Mr. Frock is enjoying the dirt. Ah, dirt. You see? <laughs> y your, your body's all covered in scent, Mr. Frock. <laughs> That's Mr. Frock to you. And in Mr. case Frock. you're wondering what a piece of clothing like me is doing inside a fireplace, I'm acquiring soot. That's right. I used to be very fastidious about staying clean. But then this impertinent person came along and dared to spill something on me. The stains never came out. My clothing is black and greasy. My socks haven't been ironed. And I even have fleas. Karen and Bertram. I'd introduce them to you, but they're sleeping right now. Yeah. Only, only... Only the two fleas? You sure it's not more? Um... I'm living in a sooty chimney. So what? I used to be very fastidious about <laughs> staying clean. Now, I don't care anymore. You're now speaking with the dark Mr. Frock, who eats his gummy bears without a napkin. A very dark frock. Dark Mr. Frock to you. <laughs> Tell me, uh, do you need some more soot? Um... Yes, I know that it's dirty here. So what? I love the cobwebs, the dust, and that rotting substance in the corner. I just finished combing it. 
I wouldn't dust her even if you put a feather duster right in my hand. You don't have a feather duster, do you? Uh -oh. Stop. I don't want to know. We gotta get him some cleaning supplies. There's a pandemic out there. <laughs> you don't need to mumble like that. Ever since Dr. Marcel's accident, we can make as much noise here as we want. He's no longer interested in what's going on inside the asylum. All of his attention is focused on finding Edna. What, have you seen Edna? Uh, somehow you remind me of a patient we used to have here. She was a little taller than you. And I think I remember two red horns and a tail. Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know? Do you know where she's at? I'll get you some soot if you tell me, okay? Maintenance room to the roof. Let's check the roof. I don't remember if this guy was in the first game or not. Oh, oh, this guy was in the first game. I know this guy. The bee man. The bee man was in the first game. Lantern. Moths fluttered around the dim light of the lamp. They were apparently searching for food. Hello, Mr. Bee man. Um, uh -huh. It was hopeless. The man in the bee costume couldn't hear Lily from there. Okay, I go down. Go down. Let's go to maintenance. So do I I guess we get to see all the old patients, huh? Where am I? <laughs> the idea was good. Okay. So then we gotta use this cheese on the punch card, right? It's a punch card now. Go, Lily, go faster. I like that she takes the time to look at him. Okay, piece of cheese. This one maybe? Ha ha ha! I feel very uh uncomfortable about our modes of transportation in this place. Can we open it? Oh no, go in there. Go back in there. Grab the chair leg. Lily had inadvertently broken off the leg of the chair. It was as pointy as a knife. <gasps> Hopefully the funny little rabbit hadn't seen anything. We made a shank, guys. But Lily, what are you doing there? Don't you remember? Remember? You must not use sharp objects. Just don't touch it, okay? See you around. Where's my ball of yarn? We made a shank. We're gonna shank Dr. Marcel. That's the game plan. Okay, what else is here? Ooh, feather duster. <clears throat> and can opener. Oh. But Lily, what are you doing there? Don't you remember? You must not use sharp objects. Just Yay, don't violence. touch it, okay? <clears throat> See you around. Can I, can I like ball of yarn this guy? Like, it's it's not time yet. It's not let, giving me the option to ball of yarn him. That's what's in the age. Oh my god. Take everything. Take the bananas. Take the tomatoes. Take the broccoli. Take the pizza flyer. Take the telephone. Welcome to Spamy's <laughs> Pizza Flyers. My name is Pokey. Can I take your order? Um. One on the asylum. Is that right? I assume that we just shove it under the gate as usual. What toppings? Uh. Hello? Hello? Everything. Can I take you All the up? toppings. Uh. Everything. One with nothing coming up. Consider it done. It'll be about 30 to 45 minutes. Have a nice day. Nothing. That's just. That's just flatbread. No. Ordering pizza twice in one day seems somewhat inappropriate to Lily. Only game designers did that. <laughs> but, but my pizza. Credit card. Oh, we're amassing a collection. <laughs> Look at all this. I want to. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh we can... Does that open? Ah, it does open. Ceiling is okay, but not sharp objects. No, not sharp objects. Sharp objects are bad. You can shank some with that. Um, oh look, the pizza. The pizza's here. Pizza's here already. Uh oh. Huh? Let's go check out the surveillance room. <laughs> the door was firmly locked. Bathroom? Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Someone, someone's making some uh, interesting potions in here. Got some colorful cauldrons, I see. Let's get some starch. And that silk. And that kneading. Oh, it's sharp! God! But, Lily, <clears throat> what are you doing there? Don't you Nothing. remember? You must not use sharp objects. Just don't touch it, okay? See you around. Isn't the chair leg... Like, aren't I technically touching it if it's in my pocket? I'm, I'm technically touching it. It's forever touching me. Washing maniac. What, what do you want? Bitty, 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 whoosh. Welcome to the laundrette. That was your cue to say, this is supposed to be a laundrette. And I'll answer, of course. Oh, admittedly, it's a little rustic, but necessity is the mother of invention. Mother knows best. And now we're doing our laundry in the urinals. To wishy-washy for you, what other choice do we have? <clears throat> A uh, washing machine. Exactly. None. You don't have to, you know. Just make sure that the fabrics are separated properly. The toilet sanitizers really stay. We'll do the red laundry in the urinal with the red toilet sanitizer. Yellow laundry in the urinal with the yellow toilet sanitizer. Blue laundry in the urinal with the blue toilet sanitizer. And green laundry in the urinal with the green toilet sanitizer. If you want to try it, just show me some clothing with the right color. Then you can use the matching urinal as often as you want. Can I just... <clears throat> I just want to ask. Do urinals... Do they actually have, like, this bowl-like shape? These weird, like... are. I feel like they shouldn't be that deep. They should be just like like a, a J shape, right? <laughs> Not this weird like you can you can shove a baby in that and call it good like a cocoon baby sort of shape. Sometimes depends. Really? That's so deep though. <laughs> That's some deep urinal. <laughs> Let's go find him some colored clothes. Actually, let's give Mr. Soot. Oh, I, I don't even remember his name again. Mr. Frock? Let's give him that 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 feather duster. See what he does. <clears throat> what do you have there? A feather duster? Not that I would want to have a feather duster. Oh, no. No matter how pretty they look. Which doesn't mean that I can't hold it for a second. Just one little second. That would be completely harmless. Don't you think? Give it to me now! Ah, what a relief. And just look, I even found my old spare sheets. Here, go ahead and take it. You, you've earned it. That was quick. How long has he been trying to maintain his dirtiness? <clears throat> but this is also an asylum. I haven't been inside one. Me neither. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> White sheet. Role playing. Hello. <clears throat> um. Hello. I would be quite devastated uh, if I saw some burning uh, tabletop games. Uh, tabletop games are actually quite expensive if you get the good ones. Uh, hello, Peter. 
My goodness, who do we have here then? Another player! Yippee! Don't pay any attention to him! Peter just sees black all the time! He was born that way. Oh! <laughs> That's true. Peter suffers from color blindness. Struggle That's jug. <laughs> well said. Struggle jug. Friend. We all have our crosses to bear. Oh yeah. Do you all wake up every morning knowing that one day you'll lie dead at the foot of a traffic light? Not exactly. But Druggle Jug, for instance, mixes up his blues and greens. You can't really compare the two. Your girlfriend Petra mixes up her yellows and greens. She's not my girlfriend. And we, King Adrian, mix up our reds and yellows. You should have been there when we played the board game. Sorry, Peter almost choked to death. I wanted to end my misery. Afterwards, <laughs> we decided never to play a board game again. Only fantasy role-playing games instead. You decided that. And what did we just say? It's so exciting. We are a group of adventurers in the legendary world of Home Motigo. Oh, please, why don't you join us? Struggle Jug, not Struggle so jug. fast. If the fair maiden wishes to join us in battle, she must first prove herself worthy. She must complete a task that puts her heroic valor to the test. Just tell her to order a pizza already so we can get on with it. Um, so hey, I have that. She shall order us pizza. I have a pizza. Um, I want broccoli on the pizza, but no tomatoes, please. Druggle jug. Oh, no broccoli. Druggle jug. Bananas aren't bad either, but I could just die for broccoli. Oh, yes. Please do. For that, I'd even happily have bananas on a pizza. You only eat blueberries anyway. Yes. I like blueberries, but in this life, you never get what you want anyway. Uh, <clears throat> Upon the order of the king, blueberries will be banned from the pizza. Instead, knowest that tomatoes will grace the pizza dough from now on. But I don't like tomatoes! Lily had heard enough. It seemed impossible to get a pizza that everyone liked. Uh, nothing on it, I guess. <laughs> Ew. Druggle jug. Yeah. You Druggle heard jug. Him. Bringest thou the pizza first, then thou may join us in play. It's really easy. All you need are dice, pencils, paper. And don't forget to bring a tendency for humiliating yourself. Truggle <laughs> jug. Truggle jug. Uh, can I just give him a blank pizza? Because no one likes any of these. Or are they expecting me to decorate it? Hey, here, here, here. Ah, oh, the pizza. Well then, Druggle Jug. Indeed, you've forgotten bananas for my good friend Druggle Jug. No one shall want for food at my table. Get rid of it. Take it from our sight. So, so they really do want things. What? Okay, I was gonna say like, where's my inventory? Uh, so. Bananas. Yellow bananas. God, that looks so awful. Blueberries. Blue blueberries. Broccoli. Green broccoli. And uh, tomatoes. Red tomatoes. Why does she look sad? Set aside the pizza. Set aside the pizza. Do I have to cut this? Set aside the pizza? Red tomatoes. <clears throat> I think I have to cut the pizza. He's the only one that looks happy. Look at him. <laughs> Everyone else is just like, ugh, disgust and upset, sadness. I, why did she look sad when I gave the tomatoes? I thought she was the one that liked tomatoes. Right? I need to cut this. 
Can I cut it with the credit Lily card? Lily had never made a pizza, let alone eat one, but that didn't sound so appetizing. I thought the girl wanted broccoli. <clears throat> I thought this guy... No, this guy likes blueberries. He wanted broccoli. She wanted tomatoes. He wanted bananas. No? Is it not that? Yellow well, bananas. Red tomatoes. Green broccoli. Blue blueberries. You only got blueberries right. But I can't seem to... I can't... I can't seem to... Redo it. The pizza's already been marked. How do Yellow I... banana. Red, blue, ah. red tomato. Green, no blue. How do I do this? How do I move it? Can I just add it? So he wanted. I thought this guy liked blueberries. He only got blueberries, right? What did she want? Broccoli? Green broccoli. Green broccoli. It doesn't change the position. Yellow bananas. Yellow but red to make blue. Ah! Wait, maybe I give it, give them the awful pizza? Ah, the pizza! <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh great here we go again with the crying get rid of it take it from our sight okay did it restart my pizza now yellow bananas it did Red tomatoes. how do i undo this Green bro oopsie broccoli blue bl okay, yellow no Change it. How do I get rid? Grape it. Silk scarf. The I don't know. The narrator, the truth of the matter was, no one knew what she was doing. Ah! That's okay. Dry your tears on this napkin. Dry it. Dry your tears. Order a new pizza. I guess that's... I mean, that's what I... I, I if they let me, hopefully... I'll have multiple tomatoes. Or, I mean, multiple pizzas. Ordering pizza twice in one. Only game designers did that. How do I clean the pizza? <laughs> How does one cleanse the pizza? Mm. Mm. Okay, well, let's go to the bathroom. Only game designers do that. Yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> uh, what do you have there? Let me see. Aha! Mm -hmm. Oh ho! Washing machine drum. It is clean. Oh. Bottle of starch. These guys are such babies. They could just turn the pizza. <laughs> Cut it themselves. They they could just cut it themselves. <laughs> Can I put tomatoes in here? That was already red enough. Can I put No no no! You're discoloring the laundry! This urinal is reserved for red laundry. If you've got some with you, you can use the urinal as long as you need to, but not before. Is this silk scarf blue enough? That was already freshly washed. Your face is freshly washed. I think it's more that they are too insane to do it somehow. They're not allowed to have sharp objects. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, okay. How do I clean the pizza <laughs> and start over? I. Mika. Yellow bananas. 
red is tomatoes. Very sad. Oops, I keep clicking off my game. Red tomatoes. Bottle of starch. Lily had never made a pizza, let alone eat one, but that didn't sound so appetizing. Neither does bananas and blueberries. That's what I tried. I tried to put a new ingredient on it. Blue blueberries. It just kind of blobs like anywhere, like, like. Blue blueberries. Didn't do anything. Yellow banana. <laughs> just make squishy sounds. Squishy, 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 squishy. Neither does blueberries. Uh oh. <laughs> No, that's not what I meant, Blueberry! <laughs> you don't belong on a pizza, Blueberry. You don't belong on a pizza. <laughs> you, you, you belong, you belong anywhere else but a, but a pizza. You, you belong on ice cream sundaes. That sounds more tantalizing, doesn't it? You like ice cream sundaes. <laughs> I can go for some ice cream. I got some root beer so I can make some root beer float, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. <laughs> I'm almost entering dangerous places, lying, drinking alcohol, sharp objects. I want to get rid of the sharp objects one, but they're not letting me. What's your guys' favorite ice cream? By me, that. The idea was good. Pour starch on them. I don't have anything that makes noise. Chocolate brownie. Oh my goodness, that sounds so good. Ah, oh, strawberry or both. Ow, oh, but freaking. Oh, you know, like, um. You know those tiny, like, quart ice creams? And it's like. They're the same size as the bigger. <laughs> the bigger ice creams. But it's just because they're, like, um. Super colorful flavors or something. Um, the ben, ben and Jerry's, the Ben and Jerry tiny quartz, the like single person ones, but then like for the same price you can get the large like blue blue bunny ribbon or blue ribbon bunny. Ugh, but sometimes I want the tiny quartz. I just wish they were cheaper. I like um, there there's one called fish food. I like that one. Maybe I should just go for the doll. I can. I might as well. I can't figure out the uh, the pizza thing right now. I really want to figure out freaking clean the pizza. Okay, let's go check out the doll then. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna die! Did actually. I see me again. Yes, Kiki. Kiki. You won't I'm... escape me again. And now hold still until I've decided what to do with you. Lily considered this option, but instead did the following. Stab him! Shank him! Shank him! You must not use sharp objects. I'm doomed! I'm dead. Oh, maybe I can hypnotize him. Can I hypnotize him? The phantom didn't look like he was open for negotiations. Yeah, slap him in the face with the pizza. The phantom didn't look like he was open for. Uh, splash starch the over phantom him. Did uh, put a scarf. The phantom didn't let Lily out of his sight. She didn't have a chance to try anything. I'm gonna die. Put the white sheet the over his phantom head. phantom didn't look like he was open for negotiations. <laughs> Woogie. That's good. K 
Keep nice and still. You want a credit card? You want to go on a shopping spree, buddy? The Phantom didn't look like he was open for negotiations. Do I like not? Do I not have the the items to fix Lily this? Lily knew that you could use starch to stiffen up laundry, but as long as she didn't have a goal in mind, she preferred her laundry so. She had had enough of starch laundry in the convent. What do I do? What do I do? I might not have the item I need. Perhaps Mother Superior had been right to throw Lily out of home at class. Lily just had no affinity for working with fabrics. You you want fruit? The Phantom didn't look like he was open for. Oh no! I did everything. That doesn't. Lily thought it already. <laughs> I'm screwed, guys. I think I was supposed to shank him. Um, 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 um. Punch him. Punch him in the face. Grab the doll, Harvey. You must not contradict adults. Oh, where's my contradicting adults? Okay. And then shank him. <laughs> you must not use the sharp objects. Cannot woogie rabbit? Let's try to woogie the rabbit. Strange. The silly rabbit didn't even react to Lily's ball of wool. The phantom didn't look like he was open. How do I... Okay. Can I just... Is there a run button? No? What can I do? You must not lie. What can I do? <clears throat> Am I stuck forever? You want some broccoli, buddy? You want some blueberries? You want, you want some blueberry? Ooh! Ooh! The Phantom. Didn't let Lily out of his sight. She didn't have a chance to try anything. We we can poke you in the eye. Lily couldn't see the phantom's eyes. She just assumed that they were glowing evilly. Okay, okay, that's a new thing. Cover his eyeball. The phantom didn't. She didn't have it. Cover his eyeball. The phantom didn't let Lily out of his sight. She didn't have a chance to try anything. <laughs> Oh, Cozy. Why? <laughs> Dearest Phantom, you've held me captive. Whatever shall I do in this situation? Oh, God damn it. I've got blueberries and a banana and some tomatoes. <laughs> we could, doesn't mean you have to use the points. <laughs> Would you like some pizza all over your face? I kind of messed it up. We can add some starch and a little blinky to wipe up all the mess. The fan <laughs> Take the look like credit card. <laughs> Five minutes of this? God damn it. <laughs> If only I could hold some sharp objects, then maybe I can shank you in the butt with this broken chair leg in my pocket that I'm not touching. <laughs> Flip that for me. Uh, what do I do? Oh, what do I do? Who knows what I do? I might be stuck. Mr. Phantom, who likes his dollies? Trying to lure children to the bar with his rabbit plush, hand and toe. He's grabbing little girls. 
Lily knew that you could use starch to stiffen up laundry, but as long as she didn't have a goal in mind, she preferred her laundry soap. She had had enough of starch laundry in the convent. I tried the starch on the white sheet, and I guess I don't like it stiff. I like it soft and plush. Like my yarn ball. <laughs> I like that very much. <laughs> hey, you guys are going to tell me when this is done, right? Like my five minute work. <laughs> Put it down. Ah! Yo. No? You're not gonna tell me when the timer runs out? What am I gonna do? <laughs> quick, quick Lily. It's time to relieve the chicken off the stick. The Lily bloody chicken off reading. the stick. One feather would be enough, just like a Christmas dinner at the convent. Or just grab the feather. I see. We have to free the dragon. I'm good? The time's done? Okay, thank goodness. I, I don't know why Brady Brunch just was the melody that, my go-to melody for that. It was too easy. It was the only thing I could think of. I guess we gotta tickle this guy. Can I tickle your foot? <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> well, you are very brave to come so close to me. Can't you see my teeth, my spikes, and my sharp claws? Didn't anyone ever tell you to stay away from sharp objects? I kind of woke up here. That would be a tragic error. Come here. <laughs> coochie, coochie, coo. Coochie, coochie, coo. Grab the tail. <laughs> What's going on, brave warrioress? Too weak? <laughs> what, up, what do you want me to do? Why does your tail weigh like five bajillion pounds? <laughs> I guess I'll keep uh, tickling you then? I'll keep tickling? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, tickle faster. No, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way. Get your tail out of the way. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> have you ever heard someone laugh like that? Like, have you ever. What direction are you supposed to be? Like, what the heck? What am I... Chicken? Do you, want me to... Do you want me to tickle the chicken? One feather would be enough, just like a Christmas dinner at the convent. Okay, well, we're gonna tickle you more. <laughs> Have you ever had anyone do the goofy like, like laugh? Like, yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Where is this going? <laughs> I advise you to stay away from my spikes. A good little girl like you shouldn't play with sharp objects. Nope. 
Nope, 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 nope. What do I do? What do I do? Lily had the feeling that these demons were getting bigger and more dangerous. The pain. You ah! fresh. Look what you did. Don't just stand there. Do something. No, I can't. That's a sharp object. The door was firmly locked. Can I tickle you more? <laughs> Not like that. Put a little effort into it. I'm really in pain here. You want me to pick up Help your... Me. How, what do you want me to do? Grab the chicken? One feather would be enough. Just like a <laughs> Christmas dinner at the convent. You, you want me to take the thorn out of your claw? <laughs> Thanks. That was close. I... Uh-oh. This demon <laughs> had also made a mistake. It seemed that in certain situations, it really was necessary to handle sharp objects. Lily returned victoriously to reality. Guess what? Guess who we're shanking? <laughs> oh, look at that rabbit with the knife through his head! <laughs> what is that? <clears throat> Are you guys ready? You guys ready? Is it gonna be pink goo? <laughs> Gotcha! God damn it, I forgot. I have to change my restriction. Okay, sharp objects. Woo! And. Where's the eye? Watcha! Do it. Ah! My eye! Damn you! You disobedient rat! Damn! Lily fought for air. The phantom's grip was tight around her throat. Disobedient, it had said. I want the doll. What am I doing? <laughs> Why am I doing this? Boogie. Boogie boo. Oh, we're back here again. Hmm. Can I go down? No. I don't have the key. The door was firmly locked. Guess I'm drinking some coffee. How convenient that they put coffee right there. <laughs> Knowing full well that I, I might accidentally hypnotize myself again and get stuck. Okay, well, now that we have that out of the way, how did we do the pizza? The door was. That's the only thing I can think of right now, other than whatever all these other things are. A bottle of starch. Do you think I can pour starch into the urinals? Can I pour a starch in the urinal? I'm gonna contaminate the urinal. In the convent school rules, there was an extra passage stating that Lily had to maintain a minimum distance of 150 feet to the laundry room. You're probably slowly beginning to understand why. Now. Yellow bananas, red tomatoes, How do I green broccoli, this? blue blueberries. Burn it. Ah. Oh, Lily, you're not go away. Uh, you know. I want to be cured. <laughs> I want all of this to go away. 
Take it. Okay, now I have a scented candle. That doesn't need starch. Lily thought it already had enough starch. What do I do? Ah! Okay, okay. Let's go dunk that in the urinal. Because that's what we do. That's what we do with red cartons. What do you have? Shush. Let shush. me see. Shush, shush. Oh, very good. You obviously understand the basic principle. Go ahead and use the red urinal as much as you like. It's very red. Okay. It seemed the laundry there was neatly sorted and washed according to differently colored urinals. Lily thought that you can take cleanliness a bit too far sometimes. I just placed it on top. Squishy bits on the urinal. In the common Starch? school rules, there your prop. Okay, well, it's just in there. Can I... Can I put white sheet on there? That was already freshly washed. Okay. Uh, I, I guess... Don't forget to touch all your sharp objects now. Oh, that's right! There was, um... Uh, this thing. Can opener. But God damn it. Don't Go away. I don't care. Uh, sharp objects. <laughs> <laughs> Lily finally got she the chance giggled. to use a pointy object. <laughs> finally got to use a pointy object. You mean stabbing some guy in the eye wasn't finally using it? <laughs> she giggled at that, guys. She giggled at pricking herself. She got excited. Hello. <laughs> what can I do with this? Oh dear, Lily really had managed to ruin the sheet. But perhaps a sheet with two eye holes could be good for something. <laughs> okay, who needs a spookin? Who needs a spookin? Wear it. Who needs a spookin? Just wear it and go up the chimney. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Frack! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 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 maybe the candle uh, will attract um, 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 the bugs, right? Hello. Look, look. The idea was good. Hello. The idea was good. No? Hello? Hold it up, Lily. Hold it up, loud and proud. Sing your Enya. No? Nothing? Okay. I tried. Spook him. Spook him. The idea was... Okay. I go away. I go away. There's no point to this one anymore, right? Yeah, there's no point. I think there was a pointy thing in the laundry room. Oh, yes, there was. The de needle thing. Thanks for finally freeing me from this burden. I only hope the chimney sweep comes soon because I'm starting to get hungry. Then get out. Get out of here. <laughs> Climb out of here. <laughs> Grab it. Knitting needle. Nida. Oh, Hello, Lily. You're Go away, you I don't care. Lily had never made a pizza, but that didn't... Uh, that's not gonna cut up the pizza. 
Uh, I have doomed myself with this pizza. What do I do? Knitting needle. Ghost costume. Silk scarf. Brett. Lily just said no. Stab the banana? Lily knew she wasn't supposed to play with her food. Food was such a sore loser. And when such it started acting loser. up, Lily would get scared. I hate it when food throws tantrums. Don't you? <laughs> I hate fighting my food. That's the reason why I hate fighting my food. That's the reason why I don't usually eat shellfish. I don't like eating crabs. I have to fight so working for your food that much. Uh. Sometimes I do get bored and I will like uh uh when when we go out to a restaurant and it's like all you eat all you can eat crab. I I'll, I'll dissect the crab like I'll, I'll fish out all that meat in the legs and give it to someone else and they always get shocked they're like you work so much for this meat and i'm like yeah i'm not really interested because it just tastes like aquarium water to me like <laughs> i haven't had like crab and and kind of like like crab fresh from a shell and enjoyed it i've never had that um if if someone could recommend me like a great crab place to try it and I'll, I'll give it a try but I mean, it's usually really underwhelming for me. It just tastes like aquarium water. <laughs> hey, we need to go to an all-you-can-eat buffet crab place. Do you, yeah? They have some in Vegas. Uh, I don't know if they have... There's not a lot of all-you-can-eats where I am. Uh, but I know they have some in Vegas. So you can fish my crabs for me. <laughs> Is that all you want me for? Just to fish out the crabs for you? I thought you were trying to like show me the best crab to get me to like crab. No, it's just so that I could do the manual labor for you to eat crab. <laughs> Aquarium water. Maybe it's just me, but I mean, it's just so underwhelming. It just tastes like aquarium water to me. I don't like it. What do I do? I'm, I might, I might look up. I don't want to look it up. Can someone else look it up and, 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 and kind of like give me a little bit of some hints uh, because this pizza thing, I was just kind of blobbing them on because I just assumed it was just plopping them anywhere, like any old which way. I didn't think that there was like actual placements for it. If there was a way to just reset my pizza, I would graciously love that. I don't want to look up like cheats. <laughs> this pizza thing. How? Just sop up the freaking pizza. I wish I could order a new pizza. I still need punch cards for these too, as well. Mm hmm. And she's not going back down that ladder. Okay, so we got to go back this way. <laughs> Can I put the pizza in the fridge since they don't want it? No. Reset the pizza. Yellow bananas. I don't care. Take it off. You must not play with. Shut up. Burned pizza. You must not. What? What am I? What's my restriction? Sharp objects. I am playing. I. I am free of the sharp objects. You must not. This thing's broken. The narrator Soak up. was slow. the truth of. The Soak that up. Lily had never made a it. pizza, but that didn't sound. Ikada. Yellow. Your face is a red tomato. Good sir. Your face is a red tomato. I have wanna look this up, but I don't I don't I don't want to. I don't wanna like accidentally see something. I want there to be a reset button. Like peel it off, Lily. Peel it off. But the goal isn't to reset the pizza. <laughs> Don't look it up. Don't look it up. But the goal isn't to reset the pizza. I have to cut it. I'm assuming I have to cut it, right? Or rotate it? <laughs> Somehow. 
no. But it won't let me like replace things. Blue blueberries. You need to continue your laundry project. But I haven't found any other thing. The door was firmly locked. Uh... Struggle, Jug. Too bad. Starving to death would have been such a relief. Come hither. Do tell us of thy progress. Uh, color, tell me about your color blindness. Can I have the pillow? Um, you're probably wondering why Draghi has a green pillow on his head, right? Draghi? Yes. My goodness, she's right. What on earth are you wearing? You're embarrassing me in front of my new subject. Draghi, Chuck. <laughs> yes, it is a little strange. Draghi, Wait until you've heard the explanation. Today should have been blue pillow day. <sighs> Struggle, Chuck. <laughs> I'm just going to take that pillow, I guess. Tell me about your um, colorblindness. Struggle, Chuck. Don't, Droggy. You have to forgive him. He's colorblind, as we all are. Peter mixes up his reds and his greens. Adrian mixes up his reds and his yellows. Droggy mixes up his greens and his blues. And I mixed up my yellows and my greens. This is very Bobby specific Bobby. color blindness. Where's my piece of paper? blank piece of paper nearby. This'll do. Um Drogo Jug. Don't drug you. you have to forgive him. He's colorblind, as we all are. Peter mixes up his reds and his greens. Adrian mixes up his reds and his yellows. Drogi mixes up his greens and his blues. And I mix up my yellows and my What does Struggle mix up? Greens and blues? Green. Greens and blues. Okay. Uh, Struggle Jug. I believe our guest is searching for the tyrant known as Dr. Marcel. Deliver her thy news. Druggle jug, druggle jug, druggle jug, druggle jug. Don't forget to mention the helicopter. Druggle jug. And was never seen again. Bravo. Well told, loyal friend. Since then, these lands have returned to the wise rule of a magnanimous king. We can do whatever we want. Does that mean I can finally sleep now? No. <laughs> never. You can never sleep. Maybe that's why he had a green pillow hat on in the blue pillow hat day. Yeah. Okay. I've got a green pillow. Green pillow. Can I stab the Perhaps needle Mother in the Superior green pillow? Lily no. That's not very helpful. Will you please let me distribute my experience points in peace so I can sit down in a corner and cry? I wonder why the girl didn't call it a yellow pillow if it was green. <laughs> yeah, that's that's bright. Unless she saw it as yellow and knew it was green. Well, she probably was thinking, you know what? No, you're right. She wouldn't be able to tell the... No, wait. No, yeah, yeah. No, I, I guess she would be able to 
Because if she saw it as yellow, then she would be like, oh, he must be wearing green instead of blue because he mixes up greens and blues. Yeah, yeah. Struggle, Jug. Too bad. Starving to death. Come hither. I. Lily didn't want to start another argument. Fortunately, she had remembered everything. Adrian wanted tomatoes, but no blueberries. Petra liked broccoli, but no tomatoes. Druggle Jug wanted banana, but not broccoli. And Peter wanted blueberries, but not banana. This was going to be tough. Well, I mean, that. what am I gonna do? Lily didn't want to start another argument. Fortunately, she had remembered everything. Adrian, Adrian wanted wants tomatoes, tomatoes, but no, but blueberries. no blueberries. Petra liked broccoli, broccoli, but no tomatoes. Druggle Jug wanted banana, but not broccoli. And Peter wanted blueberries, but not banana. This tomato. was going to be tough. Druggle wanted... <laughs> I'm a, I'm a really slow writer. Lily didn't want to start. What did Drago want? He wanted the. Fortunately, she had remembered everything. Tomato. Adrian no, wanted uh, tomatoes, but no blueberries. no blueberries. Petra liked broccoli, but no tomatoes. Druggle Jug wanted banana, but not broccoli. And Peter wanted blueberries, but not banana. This was going to be tough. Okay, puzzle time. Better not put any blueberries on there. Puzzle time? Did that reset the pizza? Did doing that reset the pizza? Yellow bananas, red tomatoes, green broccoli, blue blueberries. It didn't it didn't reset the pizza. Take the green pillow. I've never made a pizza, <laughs> let alone eat one. But that didn't sound so appetizing. Better not put any blueberries on there. But but Petra, no, Peter, Peter wants blueberries. I don't know what to do with this pizza. Maybe red berry? understand the basic principle. Go ahead and use the green urinal as much as you like. Squish. Squish, 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 squish. Uh, yellow. Something yellow. Ow! Hello. Get out of here! Not that it's gonna do anything. That doesn't need starch. Lily thought it already. Oh no, the blanket. Grab the handkerchief. The handkerchief. Perhaps Mother Superior had been right. Lily. Burn the needle and stab someone else. Lily thought that he was a bit wish. Okay, what else? What else are we looking at here? I need something yellow and something blue. Something old and something new. Something borrowed and something used. Shove the frickin' Harvey doll in there. Iron door. Can I open it? No, cannot. The door was firmly locked. No red berry? I don't think I have any. How about that? Red blueberries. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, what? Okay, 
what can I make green? If he red red he doesn't he wanted blueberries. I am so confused. <clears throat> oh, can I put the blue yarn in the blue one? That was already freshly washed. Ah. Who else has fabric for me to shove in here? Uh, okay. He mixes up breads with green. So he's gonna think it's green? God damn it. Go away. Needle and yarn. Perhaps Mother Superior Lily just No, she's really inept with home ec. She's she's more accustomed to just shanking people in the eyes. <laughs> I went straight for his eyes. Do I change Lily this? Knew she was no, 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 no. Get rid. Red tomatoes on the green. How about that? Green tomatoes. Uh, Petra. Or should I have made them yellow? Should they have been yellow? Does it change? The yellow bananas. Red tomatoes. Green broccoli. Blue blueberries. So does it replace? Green tomatoes. <laughs> Red blueberries. <laughs> what? Okay, so what color do I make the bananas? Da, 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 da. What, red? How about that? Red bananas. <laughs> Do you like that? Green tomatoes. Green broccoli. Red blueberries. Wait, this is for Peter, right? He mixes up red and green? That looks so disgusting. This looks so disgusting, guys. This looks very disgusting. <laughs> Mmm, yum. Mmm. <laughs> the only thing untouched is the broccoli. Droggle will be most pleased. Hi, guys. Here's your pizza. Oops. Here's your pizza. Ah, the pizza. Well, then. Oh, no broccoli at all? Did you forget the lovely Petra's order? Shame on you. No what? one shall want for food at my table. Get there rid is broccoli. of it. Take it from our sight. Broccoli needs to be yellow. Where can I get something yellow? Who had something yellow other than the bee man upstairs <laughs> hello mr bee man uh could i could i please take your uh negligee uh to dunk in a urinal uh please can i have this pillow can i ha is that pillow yellow Time to get naked, Mr. Bee Man. <laughs> yes, Rio. How do we make a uh, Bee Man yellow? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Lily had never seen such an unhappy man in a bee costume Aww. before, but she also hadn't really traveled much. Why are you unhappy? Can I poke him? The idea was good. Nope, too short. Perhaps Can I Mother spook Superior him? Lily. Mr. Bee Man. 
Listen. The idea was good. I need you to get naked. Get naked for me, buddy. Oh. Get naked for me. Please. I need your yellow negligee. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. What can I do? I need yellow. And he's the only yellow thing that I've seen. Only yellow thing that I've seen. What do I do? Ah! I clicked off my game. Go over here. Can I stab this doll? No, I can't. I can't. I tried. I tried stabbing the doll. I want to go in the surveillance room. Can I like pick the lock? Can you do that? Is that something you can do, Edna? Uh, Lily? No, she's not doing anything with this needle. She doesn't want to do anything. You want to stab this guy, Lily? Stab you this guy. You can keep that if you want. One hand washes the other. Stab the green urinal? In the convent school, you're probably slowly... Ha. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Can I wash this yellow credit card? In the card? convent school rule, you're prop. What do you have there? Let me see. Aha! Spooky ghost. Mm -hmm. Oh ho! Washing machine drum. It is clean. <sighs> Ooh, I'll go this way. Go this way. Can I do anything with Mr. Frock again? What haven't I done? What haven't I done? What haven't I done? This is this is kind of hard. Ticking time gears here. Oh wait, 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 wait. Can I can I punch holes in the credit card? Yes. Dr. Marcel would surely be <laughs> pleased. With the help of his credit card, Lily made some confetti. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Mr. B-Man, please. Please, please, please. Hello, stranger. Before you say anything, please take a deep breath. <gasps> and is that what freedom smells like? Or is it just regular air consisting of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, soot from the asylum's new chimney, and a touch of diesel oil from the garage? <sighs> I don't want to seem melodramatic, but I'm somewhat skeptical about this so-called freedom. Ever since Dr. Marcel started neglecting his duties as head of this asylum, it's us, the patients, that carry the burden of creating our own boundaries. And before I'm able to measure up to this freedom, I do have to ask myself a few things. Maybe there are such things as good boundaries. And even in an ideal case, can I really decide where my own freedom starts and stops? It so happens that no one is preventing me from leaving the asylum. Does that mean I'm free? 
Can I just fly away, spread my wings, and leap from the asylum roof? The urge is there. Just like any bee, I long to buzz across fields of flowers collecting honey. But I'm still fighting it. Something about this freedom stinks. Is this what watching the bee movie is like? <laughs> is that what it, is that what it feels like? I've never seen the bee movie. Is that what it felt like? <laughs> uh, uh, give me your scarf, mister. Give me. I'm skeptical. Although I have the urge to spread my wings and fly off into freedom, can I really judge where my own boundaries lie? Something about this freedom stinks. Same. You want to see it? Watch it with me. <laughs> where is it available on? Sure. <laughs> do I do? Lantern. Moths fluttered around the dim light of the lamp. They were apparently searching for food. Do you want some uh, broccoli? Or bananas? Then the moths seem to lose their appetite. <laughs> they don't want no red bananas. <laughs> Can I starch them? Then the moths seem to lose their appetite. We can watch it in VRC. VRC? VRC? What is VRC? Virtual room control? Vir 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 <laughs> yes. Virtual room control? Oh, really? I was just guessing. Wait, is it actually? I'm really gullible, guys. I don't know if you've, you have noticed. No, it is. <laughs> I'm really gullible, guys. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Virtual room control. Virtual reality chat. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Virtual reality chat. I don't have, I still don't have a VR headset. <laughs> what can I do with the bee? Do you want pizza? Can I stab you with the knitting needle? <clears throat> That's very nice of you, stranger. But that reminds me too much of my life here in the asylum. It's already hard enough for me to let go of everything here. Give me that scarf. <laughs> we couldn't tell. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Oh, you want this scarf? Here, look, 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 look. Bee man, here, here, here. That's very nice of you, stranger. But that reminds me too much of my life here in the asylum. It's already Give. hard enough for me to let go of everything here. Give me your yellow scarf, please. Perhaps Give. Mother Superior had lit. Ghost, ghost. That's very nice, but it's... Yeah! Uh, scented candle? I'm haggling with freedom. Of course you don't want that. You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it. Shut up. You want some pizza? What about this ball of yarn? This isn't, this, this isn't from the, the thingy. That's very nice, of, but that reminds me it's already... What? What do you want? What does he want? Lily had never seen, but she also had. How? Light him on fire? Okay. That'll force him to leave. What? Mmm, that smells good. But even if the illusion is almost perfect, it's only artificial flavors and chemical esters. An almost perfect illusion, but not real. Like with everything here in the asylum, it's only a half-hearted attempt to trick us into thinking that we're free. And now that no one is stopping us from leaving the asylum, it provides us with a welcome excuse to refuse to leave. Right you are, stranger. I'm just running away from my responsibilities. The responsibility to myself. 
to accept the deal that the world out there has offered me. I thank you. I've made up my mind. I can't just sit around here doing nothing anymore. I should buzz across fields of flowers and collect money. <laughs> Toodaloo, asylum. Hey ho, wait, wait, freedom. Give me the scarf. Give me that scarf. Give me, give me. Oh, there we go. Wee! Wait. Lily was glad that she had helped the bee man. Soon he would be in a better place. Soon he would be in a better place. <laughs> I was about to say, like, can you imagine this guy just running through fields of flowers and just like, like, freaking bent down, face shoved into flowers, just sniffing and like, like, getting in on them, like rubbing himself into these flowers. Uh, what do bees do? Like, they lick the flowers, right? Bees lick the flowers to get the 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 pollen or nectar or whatnot he would be rubbing his butt in the flower to get that pollen he would be licking the nectar to get that sweet sweetness right <laughs> um but no he's probably some pink goo uh, on the sidewalk right now oh he made some pink honey <laughs> he made some pink honey <clears throat> What do you have there? Let me see. Oh, very good. You obviously understand the basic principle. Go ahead and use the yellow urinal as much as you like. Here comes Splatman from the roof of the asylum. <laughs> That's very horrific. That's very, very horrific. I, I, I would like to hope that um, something nice happened to him. Other than pink goo. Um, because he didn't deserve it. He was such a nice man. <coughs> All the kids at the asylum, uh, except for that one guy, right? The nice guy, whatever his name was, that um, I guess Lily had a crush on. He was the only guy that was nice. He didn't exactly really deserve to die. Um, the bee man doesn't deserve to die. Uh, <coughs> if I remember correctly, I think the bee man was like one of the 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 good friends of Edna, so it would be actually quite tragic if he died. Okay, let's make some yellow broccoli. How about that? Yellow broccoli. That looks so nasty. Red bananas, green tomatoes, green broccoli, red blueberries. Yellow broccoli. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh no, he didn't like that. I messed up. I messed up. He didn't like that. He don't like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he don't like that. Uh, Let's take a look at these notes here. Uh-oh. Stop. He didn't like that. Should these be blue? Should these be blue instead, actually? Because Drogal mixes up green and blue. Should these be blue? What kind of pizza did they order? This is like weird. Green and yellow. How is this? Okay, so Peter mixes up red with green, 
but he wanted blueberries. We made them red so that he thinks they're green. <clears throat> Bananas may need to be blue. And then Andre mixes up red with yellow. So they have to be red. So that he can think that they're yellow. We need the broccoli to be uh, blue. I think. No. Petra wanted the broccoli. Joggle wanted the banana. Doesn't like broccoli. I think the broccoli needs to be blue, maybe. I need to find something blue. Can I get his pillow? Can I get Joggle's pillow? <clears throat> oh, nice! You're back! Droggle, Jog! Too bad. Starving to death would have been such a relief. Come hither. Do tell us of thy progress. I need your blue pillow. That is what I need. Um. Droggle jug. Don't, drug. You have to forgive him. He's colorblind, as we all are. Peter mixes up his reds and his greens. Adrian mixes up his reds and his yellows. Droggy mixes up his greens and his blues. And I mix up my yellows and my greens. Funny, isn't it? <laughs> now. Red bananas, green tomatoes, yellow broccoli, red blueberries. What does she think that, that this is? What does she think? Gotta go find that last color. I don't think it's the pillow. Hmm. I need something else to punch. To make a punch card for that last furnace. Put the rabbit in there? I can't. Every time I pick up the rabbit, I uh, hypnotize myself. I mean, I can try. I can try. But every time I pick up the rabbit, he's just going to hypnotize me. Use Mr. Woogie Woogie for blue. Oogie Woogie. Woogie Boogie Man. Strange. The silly rabbit didn't even react to Lily's ball of wool. The usually wise-ass stuffed rabbit hadn't made a sound. Maybe his feelings were hurt. Boogie boogie. I'm kind of stuck. The door was firmly locked. And I don't have anything in my inventory when I come here unless I die and have things put on my eyeballs. Chicken? One feather would be enough, just like a Christmas dinner at the convent. <laughs> Ah. 
I love how she picks them up by the neck. <laughs> um, that's where she was picked up from, so... I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. Unless I can figure out how to transcend a key to here. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I want to go in the surveillance room. room. I'm going to check that roof. I'm going to check B-Man's roof again. Nothing. just gotta pick a different color. Maybe I make them, oh, but I need the blue. That's the only thing I need. I was about to say like, maybe I make it red or, ah, but I have to make it blue. You want this silk? <laughs> you want this? It seems to me ye haven't played role-playing games very much. It's no. really easy. All you need are dice, a lack of oh. love, struggle jug. Oh yes, and <clears throat> pizza, of course. Thanks, Droggy. You always need pizza. Mm, okay, 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 okay. What else can I punch? What else can I pick up? What else can I pick up? Can I pick up anything else? Watch me feed Mr. Frog, like, uh, just, hey, Mr. Frog, you want, you want some green tomatoes? I do not eat green eggs and ham. I do not eat them, Sam I am. I do not eat no, them. No, thanks. I'm pretty happy and content. I only hope the chimney sweep comes soon, because I'm starting to get hungry. I, I'm offering you food. You want a pizza? You want a pizza? Green tomatoes. Yellow broccoli. Shh, shh. Go away. And exit. Give the pizza to Mr. Frog. I bet he would savor and no enjoy thing. it I'm more. I'm pretty happy and content. I only hope the chimney sweep comes soon because I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> the long dry spell of trying to figure this out the long dry spell and then like the eu eureka moments are just so satisfying but the long dry spell of just like uh it feels like feels like I'm <laughs> it feels like I'm a monkey playing with that like table block the 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 table that has like the shapes cut out and then you have different blocks of different shapes and you're just kind of like punching in like random blocks until it fits just like 
what else? What else haven't I looked at? What else haven't I punched? What can I use this knitting needle for? When I saw those color dyes, I, I gotta be honest, I was kind of excited hoping that we would mix and like mix colors, like primary colors, but no. I'm not seeing that. What else have I not looked at? Mm, yeah. What else was blue? Was there anything else that was blue? Have I seen anything blue yet? Other than the rabbit. Hello, Harvey. It's just you and I, buddy. Why can't I put the silk in the blue? It's a silk scarf. But that was pretty. The towel reminded Lily of one that Mother Superior confiscated from her. It's got blue on it. Can I, I'm going to try and put it in it again. That was already freshly washed. <laughs> Okay. I gotta make it dirty. That's what you're saying. I gotta make it dirty. Let's try seeing Mr. Frock. Mr. Frock. You wanna take a look at my hanky, Mr. Frock? I want you to make my hanky really dirty so that I- No thanks. I'm pretty happy and content. I only hope the chimney sweep comes soon because I'm starting to get hungry. How can I get this really dirty? How can I make this really dirty? What? Out of context? Out of, out of, out of context? <laughs> I'm just trying to get this hanky dirty. I need this to be dirty. I need this to be dirty. How to dirty things. Can I... And what do I do with the starch? Oh. Wait. Lily knew that you could use starch to <sighs> stiffen up laundry. But as long as she didn't have a goal in mind, she preferred her laundry soft. She had had I, enough of Star's laundry in the convent. I do have a goal in mind. I do, I do, Lily. You make the starch so that the hanky gets really hard and stiff. Like like a cardboard stiff. Like freaking iron clad stiff. And then you hole punch it. And then you make that last card punch. But no, Lily. No. You don't want to do that, Lily. Let me, okay, that, that, that's what I was thinking, but yeah, let me try again, I guess. With it not being stiff. But nope. only oh, one, get out of here. Can eat this. <laughs> Doubt. Mm -hmm. Come here, punch it. Lily thought about adding a few holes, but that was too vague. She'd just destroy everything. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> Lily, make a card punch out of it. Make it hard and stiff. With the starch. And punch holes in it. And then that's your last card. Starch bottle. What can I use with the starch bottle? What can I make? 
Ken poke holes with needle? I don't know. She's going to talk about how she was kicked out of home ec. Perhaps Mother Superior had been right <laughs> to throw Lily out of home ec class. Lily just had no affinity for working with fabrics. Am I dumb? Am I dumb? I feel dumb. I feel d <laughs> What am I missing? I can't get into the surveillance room yet either. I tried I tried using the knitting needle to see if she'll like pick the lock, but she's not that smart. Or convenient. She's not that smart or convenient. The only blue thing I've seen is the stupid bunny doll in this guy's pillow. Knit starch bottle? That doesn't need starch. Lily thought it already had enough starch. Doesn't have enough starch. It's a needle. Can I can I get the 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 droggle green pillow? Can I pick that up again? No, I can't pick that up it again. It seemed the laundry there was neatly sorted and washed according to differently colored urinals. Lily thought that you can take cleanliness a bit too far sometimes. Lily, take that needle. The the knitting needle. Shank this guy. Shank this guy in the shin. Or the knee. He's he's coddling that knee. I bet you he used to be an adventurer, okay? But but then some unfortunate mishap happened, and that's why he ended up here and he coddles his knee because he still has phantom pains. That's why he's here, because of the phantom pains, Lily. And you just need to give it a little prick, just so that the, the, the sensation just spikes through his nervous senses, and he just passes out. And you can use the blue urinal without his need say so. <laughs> just do it, Lily. Just do it. Can I put my ball of yarn in there? That was already freshly washed. Is there anything I need to wipe or clean? Pick up the stupid Harvey doll. No, don't. No, 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 no. That's the oogie. Oogie. Yeah. Lily thought it was a bit cliche, but what was she going to do about it? Write a mean letter to Renee and Pokey? My brain's kind of fried. I really, really want to solve this before I call it for today, but I, I just, I'm taking too long. I really don't know. What else have I not done? What else have I not done? Detergent. Can I detergent the bugs? The lantern? Put the spooky ghost, put the napkin in front of the ghost. <sighs> Detergent on the lantern. And the moths seem to lose their appetite. So camp hanky. Lily had often wished to go to the zoo to feed the animals. Meep. Oh. It was even more beautiful than Bye. she imagined. God. What did you do to the hanky? Torn silk scarf. Can I starch it now? Lily knew that you could use starch to stiffen up laundry. It wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. Moths love silk. Well, who said it? Now Lily had a stiff towel with holes. <sighs> I thought mil uh, moths like anything fabric. Punch card. Punch card. We, it's coming together. 
I was on the verge of giving up. <laughs> oh, surveillance room. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Yikes. What are you doing here? Are you actually dead? Uh -uh. Too bad. I could use a little entertainment, but the doctor told me not to talk to other people. At least not living ones. Sorry. But I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wasn't... Wasn't... Wasn't she in the cemetery? You shouldn't be here. I'm not allowed to talk to people. At least, not living ones. She's knitting those rabbits. She's knitting those rabbits. Wait, why is she here? Okay, how do I... Oh, oh, here we go. Yikes! A ghost! How sweet! Finally, someone to talk to. You have to help me. Dr. Marcel is wrongfully <laughs> keeping me here in the asylum. Isn't there anything that you and your ghost buddies can do about it? Curse him? Deprive him of his sleep? Drag him into the seventh circle of hell and torture him for all eternity with red-hot needles? Oh, come on. Wow. I've done so much for you. I've performed obscure rituals, sacrificed chickens, danced naked. Although when I think about it, I'm not sure if it was really a ghost that asked me to do that. I don't feel so well. Could you please take off your head while we're talking? Ooh, ooh. Oh man, you're not very talkative. Can't you help me at all? Yes. Uh huh. Great. Look at this. The doctor is forcing me to knit these stuffed rabbits. No idea what he needs them for, but I'm not very good at it. Maybe you could lend me a hand. Wait, I'll push some of the fabric through the hatch. <gasps> Blue. Okay, see you, lady. <laughs> ah! Okay, blue, 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 blue. We just laughed her. <laughs> Grabbed her blue and laughed her. What do you have there? Let it's me blue. see. It's blue. Oh, it's very blue. Blue. Good. You obviously understand the basic principle. Go ahead and use the blue urinal as much as you like. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so freaking much. <laughs> uh, broccoli. Blue broccoli. How about that? Blue broccoli. Nom, 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 nom. Red bananas. Green tomatoes. Yellow. Red blue. Oops, nope. Uh, blue broccoli. Blue broccoli. <laughs> oh, that cheered him up. Okay. I think that that's it, right? That's the mystery solved. Hopefully. Let's get out of here. Please. Enjoy your pizza. Your soggy, soapy pizza. Ah, the pizza. Well then. Can I have a look? That was to be expected. As usual, no one respects my wishes. Fear not, my friend. No one shall want for food at my table. Get rid of it. What? Take it from our sight. He's, ha he's happy bananas, on his thing. Green tomatoes. Okay. Blue broccoli. Red blueberries. Red and green. He wants blueberries. Red and green. Uh, I'm assuming I make his yellow then, right? Because the one that wants... That doesn't like blueberries... Okay, I'm gonna make his yellow. I'll make his blueberries yellow. <sighs> Could take forever. Ah! Yellow. How about that? Yellow blueberries. 
yellow blueberries. Ah, oh, he's happy. Now he's happy. They're all happy. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> Listen, guys. Listen. Take your darn oh, pizza. Oh, the pizza. Well then. Mmm. Superb. Superb. Great. I wish I were as good on the phone as you. Druggle jug. And Peter is satisfied too. Satisfied? How can I be satisfied in such a world in which the only moments worth living for are those when the pizza arrives with the right toppings? That means yes. We owe you one. Peter almost starved to death. It's not that bad. I've already lost all hope of dying honorably anyway. Druggle jug. Well said. Now that the food is taken care of, let us begin the game. Don't you want to play too, sweetie? You'll see. It'll be incredibly fun. If you take pleasure in such excessive self-degradation. That and a dice cup. Druggle jug. Uh huh. So be it. Then follow us into the world of Hoth Montigor. Oh Your no. Your group has set up camp near the infamous Goblin Gorge. Lily found herself in a clearing. The campfire was crackling, and the wind whipped through her clothes. You can hear the war drums of the goblins in the distance. This is your last rest before the great battle. Lily did in fact hear drums. <laughs> I'm an enormous army seemed to be waiting for them in the nearby mountains. Okay. Wait. Okay, I... Are you telling the story or am I? Uh, what? It's just that I see that you don't have the dungeon master screen in front of you. And I'm pretty sure that the Dungeon Master is recognized by his Dungeon Master's screen. That's ridiculous. I'm the narrator. I don't need a... Well, then why don't you be the Dungeon Master then? I'm curious how you'll do without any battle value tables or source books. What? B but that's... That's what I thought. And now, move over. Ow! Hey! You can't just... Where was I? Oh, yes. You're here on the orders of the king to drive the goblins from the gorge. There are rumors that the goblins have dammed up the Pink River. This Pink. has turned Pink guys. Montagor's most important memorial into a reservoir. The Valley of Unpleasant Memories. Also sitting at the fire is a mysterious local guide. You're tired from the journey, but sleep is far from your mind. Goblin scouts could be lurking anywhere. The black magician Petrula, the noble Sir Drogolov, and the amusing juggler Snippo. I want a different role. <laughs> are gathering their strength for the battle. Only the Amazonian barbarian warrioress Lilligrim. Huh? That's you! Only the Amazonian barbarian warrior Lilligrim is restless. It's your move, Lilligrim. What will you do? Okay. <laughs> wow, that was really, really long narration, and I didn't really want to cut it off. <laughs> Okay, okay, so we we were able to pass uh, the diet. Oh my god, it took forever. Oh my god, it took forever. Mm. I'm going to call it here uh, since we, we breached the, the two-hour mark. I'm going to call it here. And I think it's a good po po uh, part to stop uh, since I guess we're starting a new, uh, new adventure uh, RPG role playing. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, let me just... And exit the game. Yes. Anyway. Ah. Oh, oh my God. My brain. 
<laughs> these puzzles and, the, and, and, and my brain. And it's just like, I don't know if I feel like I solved that last puzzle. I was just kind of guessing. I'm pretty sure you guys uh, helped edge me along the way as well. You, you heavily uh, edged me along the way. I feel like I was I was carried there. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um uh, <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you guys for showing up and watching uh <laughs> tremendously as I suffered through all of that. Um I will have the schedule up. I think I think immediately after the stream I'll work on next week's uh uh You can't say that on Twitch? What did I just say? What did I just what? The amount of things we can put out of context with what you say. What did I just say? Oh no, what did I just say? What did I just say? I I I, I don't even remember what I just said. My my uh my jelly donut brain um it's 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 eluding me again. <laughs> well, since edging is a oh, is it? Read my messages. <laughs> Wait a second. We nudged you. Edging means something totally off. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not going to ask. <laughs> Why are so many words? <laughs> Why are so many words bad? <laughs> it's it's a perfectly normal word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I apologize then. I deeply apologize. You guys were nudging me. You were nudging me in the right direction. <laughs> and I do appreciate that <laughs> graciously. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm not going to remember what what uh, what words not to use because I don't know what they mean. <laughs> Wholesome words. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what that means. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask. I'll ask Rio later. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I think after this stream, I will uh, go ahead and just uh, work on my schedule for next week. I think I kind of know what I'm going to do uh, right away. So I'll get that pumped out on my Twitter. Uh, be sure to follow that uh, if you want to know what my schedule is. Uh, I'm definitely thinking so it's going to be uh, Tuesday, Witcher, Wednesday, Edna, and Harvey. So, so... I guess I'm moving Edna and Harvey to Wednesday. Thursday will be uh, the Little Nightmares uh, again. Little Nightmares torture. Um, that way I maintained my uh, afternoon tea time to do whatever shenanigans is uh, on the wackadoodle. <laughs> I think I found uh, an interesting free game on Steam that I kind of want to try out and show you guys. So that might be on the agenda for next Saturday. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, also, definitely check out um, my uh, YouTube. Uh, I'm going to start trying to release some highlights uh, since it's really unfortunate that Twitch doesn't keep old VODs and whatnot. It's really unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I have announced. Uh... But yeah, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I really, I really do. It's really fun uh, streaming for you guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye!